Hey guys, AJ here, back on level one for you. So guys, there's this hilarious trend with these 304s now where they're like, yeah, I'm gonna spend my 20s being some strong and independent, educated career woman, right? I am woman, hear me roar, in numbers too big to ignore. And not only that, but I'm gonna spend my 20s and 30s doing my master's and PhD in underwater Lesbian. psychology, right? <laughs> But what happens, guys, is they hit 30, 35 to 45, and all of a sudden, guys, after that biological clock tick, tick, took and rang, you know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, they can't have kids. And now you see all this IVF and all this, oh, my infertility journey and all this foolishness, right? So, guys, look at this. Adrienne Bailey Houghton says she easily spent one million dollars on fertility treats. Treatments. Clown world. A million bucks. Look at that. So, guys, we're going to get into this. But before we do, like, subscribe, drop a comment because it really helps keep this channel going, guys. Check out my second channel link in the description. Check out the playlist at the end, guys. But well, let's go to the dumpster fire known as TikTok, guys, because this infertility journey, journey, journey IVF foolishness is all over the internet. Let's just get into this, guys. It has copyright music, so I'll have to play the Clown World theme. Let's go. I told you guys. I told you. Look at this. Adrian Bailey Houghton says she easily spent one million dollars on fertility treatments. Guys, I don't feel bad for her because she was like thirty nine when she when she started trying to have kids. And guys, she spent a million bucks, over a million bucks, and it still didn't work. She still had to have a surrogate. Clown world. Look at this. Adrian Bailey Houghton understands that she had the resources on her side during her journey to be a mom. In a Saturday interview. The people, the former co-host of The Real, revealed that she and her husband, Israel Houghton, spent easily over a million dollars on, on fertility tr treatments. Guys, whoever you are, Israel, Bailey, and Houghton, that's, that, that's for you, dude. Straight up. Come on, man. She says, this is not realistic for the average person. And I recognize that. Say, Bailey and Houghton, who welcomed her son, Ever James via surrogate so they still had to have a surrogate and guys let's let's just pump the brakes here let's pump the brakes <laughs> guys it's not fair to the husband to not be able to to impregnate his wife and see her be pre pregnant with his child right any man who who is worth his salt would have just do, you know drop kick her through the uprights and got himself a younger chick that can have his his kids you know what I'm saying? C come on, man. Okay. Okay, so she welcomed her son, Ever James, uh, via surrogate. And said that she experienced a pretty tough six years of trying to have her son. Clown world. She said, I only did eight cycles of IVF. So uh, that's in vitro, guys. But that doesn't include the amount of IUIs. So IUIs is where the husband splooges in a thing and then they take the turkey baster and then try and shoot it up in there, right? <laughs> that doesn't include the amount of IUIs I did and every other kind of imaginable tra treatments that you could imagine for infertility. Bailey and Houghton, guys, look, she um, hyphenated her name, Clown World, right? Has been frank about her feelings around surrogacy previously saying that she felt robbed of the experience of caring as a child herself. She says that it sounds so stupid, superficial, but I felt robbed of maternity fo photos. I wanted to feel the movement of the baby inside of me. Guys, that's what women are naturally supposed to want to feel. 
How is that shallow and superficial? She said, I wanted my husband to experience my pregnant bob body. I imagined my son being born and now had other people in this room that were not part of what I ima ima imagined. So guys, this chick pissed away her, her youth and then... Through the wall, man. Okay, Ever's birth was a turning point. She says, when I pulled my son out of someone else's vajayjay and I put that baby on me, I, I ugly cried. So yes, well, I do feel that I was robbed of some things. It came full circle once the baby was in my arms. Guys, this is the future of all these modern w women, man. They're toast. Absolutely toast. They're putting off having kids, and they're trying to say, oh, well, geriatric pre pre pregnancy is patriarchy. It's a patriarchal term. It's a biological term. And guys, you might be asking who 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 this person is. Let, let me show you guys who Adrian Bailey and Houghton is, right? You guys, we are not her target audience, but guys, look at this. This is the real, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even know who her beta male of a husband is is real hot and she probably makes more than him which is why he put up with with her hyphenating his name you know what i'm saying and then having a, a surrogate look at that what kind of beta male move is that dude seriously you know that's a million bucks a million doll dollars and let's make sure how how old she is how old is this chick she is it's 40. So she started trying to get pregnant in her mid mid to late thir 30s, guys. And was shocked when it didn't work. Guys, don't feel bad for chicks like like like, like this. Because if you do decide to, like later on in life, and you're 55, 6, 60, you want to have, have kids because you really don't have anything else to do, I don't know, right? Guys, choose a younger woman. You know what I'm saying? And guys, she she spent over a million bucks. All these knuckleheaded 304s. Guys, let's look at the average average salary of a woman in the US. Thirty thousand six hundred dollars and five cents. Do you think these broads have money to do IVF? Hell to the no to the no no no. Alright, you guys. This is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, and I'm out of here, guys. Have a good one.